Okay, welcome to this video tutorial. In this short video, we are going to visit GoDaddy.com and uh, purchase a domain name so you have a place to install your website. First thing you want to do is you want to just go to GoDaddy.com. So I'm just going to type it into Google here so you can see it. GoDaddy.com and then I'm just going to visit GoDaddy and then when you get to GoDaddy the screen may or may not look exactly like this uh, what's most important is when you get to GoDaddy you just use the search function and you search for a domain name specific to what you want your website on for this uh, tutorial I'm just going to use a sample domain I'm just going to make up something so I'm going to go uh, domain for sample dot com and for the most part people recognize dot com so uh, try and get a domain with a dot com on it and then just click the search button and you're gonna see if your domain is available it's gonna tell you it's available just click the add button right here and you're gonna see it's been added to the pending re registration here so I'm gonna now just click the continue to registration button and then when GoDaddy tries to upsell you on things for these purposes right now all we're trying to do is register a domain name so you don't need any of their extras so just click on the no thanks button alright on this screen here let me just move it down a little bit you're either going to have to uh, log in as your as an existing customer of GoDaddy or create your customer information so uh, right now let me just pause the video real quick and uh, I'm gonna log in okay alright once you're logged in or you've got your account created uh, you're gonna see the screen is gonna look like this so what I want you to do is choose your registration length you've got multiple options here I'm just gonna select one year and then because you are going to be putting a uh, software on this domain and you're actually going to be hosting this software it truly is going to be your own business here we've got to set the name server so um, before you do anything else look for this link right here and click set name servers it's going to expand the box and it's going to look like this so in number one here just click in the first box and type N S 1 and then click into the next box and type I spy host and then click into the next box and type com C O M and then go over here where it's number two do the same thing except it's going to be N S 2 and then it's going to be I spy host and then com so for your name service it's going to be ns one dot i spy host dot com and then ns two dot i spy host dot com so this is critically important that you do this step right now uh, make sure you do it before clicking the next so once you've got all of these boxes here, these first two boxes, ns1.ispyhost.com and ns2.ispyhost.com. Once those are filled out, then you can click the next button. And now the very next step here, GoDaddy is going to want to ask you, do you want to upgrade any of your uh, settings here? You don't have to, just uh, keep what's in your cart here, the standard registration. So once again, just click next. Alright, so now you are at your uh, review of the shopping cart. Um, what you want to do here is just click the continue to checkout button over here. And then just review your billing information, choose your method of payment. Uh, on the right hand side here click uh, accept the terms and then just click the place order button. and that is it uh, thank you for your purchase your order is now complete so you're finished with godaddy.com uh, right now you've just created your domain name you've set the name servers at the time of ordering and you've completed your transaction so congratulations this step is now done 
you should receive an email from GoDaddy very shortly uh, confirming your transaction. But that is all for now. Congratulations.